Alright, well this seems like a reasonable place to start the episode. It's fair to assume it's around here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, welcome back. We haven't actually found it, but we're assuming it's somewhere around here. It's gotta be. Found it. <laughs> Good job. Is this the part the part that says Kirby? He'll notice it, as long as you're paying, like, a re as long as you're remotely <laughs> paying attention. As long as I'm looking at the screen. Yeah. Like, it's pretty hard to miss the part where it's just like, oh, the ground is a K. Oh, it does say, it does say Kirby, doesn't it? <laughs> who, who did this? Did what? This part of the... It's part of the world that says Kirby. Oh, like, which who, who, Which who of the level designers? <laughs> who vandalized the rock formations in this world into saying Kirby? No, not which of the level designers. What? No, it's natural. <laughs> oh, it's a natural rock formation. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the stressful part of this level. So you're saying it was God? Yes. Yes, God did it. God did it. This is a great level to have Rock and Cutter for. For similar reasons to the water level. Yeah. Ah, paper mache! Stay away from my soft, squishy body! Your soft, rubbery pink body. There, I'm safe. Inside the volcano. Yep. You're safe. Nothing bad can happen to you here. Seems like a good place to have ice. I don't like these birds. The ones that poop fire on you? Yes. Those birds. I'm not into the, the fire poop. What about the volcanoes? How do you feel about the volcano mans? The ones that just shoot little... Like it's the same particle effect. They basically look like clams. But they shoot fire out of their heads. I mean... I guess I don't mind it as much when it's the Volcano Mans, because they don't look like they're pooping on you. I'm a special snowflake. You're the most special snowflake. I'm a special snowflake. Ah, it's the part where I wish I wasn't on King Dedede, because this would be easier if I was just Kirby. If only you were able to just walk around those pillars. If only. Then you wouldn't need DDD's help for this section. I don't think it's possible to kill all those guys. I think you just gotta lump it. Just take them, take my lumps. Good of DDD to, you know, be helpful, contribute to the mission instead of just being a big swinging dick all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's he's Ow. like a he's like a villainous character, but he's not. He's also like Kirby's pal. He just doesn't want to admit it. Like, oh, I hate Kirby. But then, you know, like that there Kirby. Yeah, he's always messing up my my evil schemes. But then, did you did you know that after the? Do you remember any of the Kirby anime? Not uh, not very much. But like, do you remember that King? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Toss me in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't. That's probably not how Kirby phrased it. Right, so as I was saying, so do you remember the, like, Monster Merchant? Monster Merchant? Yeah, on the Kirby anime, King DDD would, like, the monster of the week would be whatever monster King DDD bought from the Monster Merchant, 
to to mess up Kirby, that there Kirby. No, I don't really remember that at all. He just bought monsters from him. Yeah. Well, mostly he uh, mostly he added them to his tab, which I'm assuming was enormous by the end of that, because he like never had enough money to buy them. King DDD must not like actually. I mean, I guess maybe monsters are just really expensive, because he's a king, so you'd think he would have enough money to buy some stuff. As far as I know, he doesn't actually like do anything. Like, he doesn't really need to spend his money on road repair or anything for his kingdom, as far as I'm aware. Does he, like, collect taxes? Is that just, like, all he does? Yeah, as, like, I'm pretty sure King Dedede is the kind of king who just collects taxes and, like, doesn't actually, it's like, maybe he spends them on all those knights he's got in his castle, I mean, just, that's, like, paying their wages. That is generally the argument. I'm, I'm a fan of these, like... The lava tubes. The like lamellar flow or whatever it's called. Just tubes of lava. Yeah. That lava would need to be under a pretty high amount of pressure to flow that way though. Given how viscous it is. It's blorpy. It's, it's blorpy. Ow. I didn't see that didn't see that coming. I like how there's just like huh. guys in the background dancing. Yeah. They're rooting for you. Yeah. Well, I would be rooting for Kirby. Uh, no. Uh -oh. If I recall correctly... <laughs> Suck them all up! Alright, let's do this. This is the power to have for this part. Yep. Go, go, go! Well, first I need to... Let it get on screen. Yeah, that's actually, that's definitely the power to have for this part. I do lose some control and end up running into enemies a little because of it. Yeah. Oh, and then there's this part. Go, Kirby, go! I really gotta get that snack, huh? Kirby's hungry. Great. Really not in much of a rush, huh? I hear it. I hear it coming, but like, I can't see the lava at all. Oh, you're just gonna wait for it, huh? It really gives you- <laughs> it really gives you some time. You know, I thought of this part as being like, kinda stressful and like anxiety inducing like oh god the oh, lava's coming there it is. well the horizontal part's a bit it just stops <laughs> the horizontal part is a bit more of an issue because like that part it actually follows you pretty closely yeah but i guess it doesn't rise as fast So what were you saying about the monster merchant? Why'd you bring him up? Oh, come on. Oh. God damn it, Evan. This is the worst Kirby game. <laughs> the worst? Yeah, because it's the one that lets you make Kirby cry. <laughs> and as we all know, that is unacceptable. That, that, I mean, who would do that? Was there some reason that you brought that guy up? Uh, I don't really remember what we were talking about before that. The monster merchant. <laughs> well, no, before that. I mean, there was a reason, but... Oh. It was whatever we were talking about at that point. It was King Dedede. Well, him being a villainous... He's like a villain, but he he's actually also like Kirby's pal. 
sort of in the way that, like, you know how Bowser is, like, the villain of all the, or most of the Mario games. But they, like, they still play golf together and stuff. So clearly they're on decent terms. Even though, like, ostensibly he's, he's Mario's arch enemy. Yeah. Well, it's nice of DDD to... One v one me, bitch. Oh, I need to. Okay, sure. Let's let's get on land first. Take our shirts off. <laughs> get out of this bar. Yeah. All right, step up. Step up. Step up. Bring it. Bring it, scrub. Ow! Oh, brought it. He brought it. Oh wait, do I need to? Do you need to hit his face? I believe I do. Yeah, you need to get him right in the, right in the peepers. There you go. That's what I thought. Got him. He's <laughs> a happy little man. Now for the most stressful of Ooh. of planet escapes. <laughs> no, potato <laughs> head. He just falls over. Aha! Get in the portal. Hey, look, it's Earth. Potato head, no! Ugh. <laughs> Sucks his big ol' head right into his mouth. So here we are at Shiver Star with its moon and Australia and North America. Oh fuck! And <laughs> that America, is straight Earth. And Africa. <laughs> and Asia. Yeah, that's just straight up Earth. All right. See you guys <laughs> next time while we, while we explore. explore the ruins of our frozen wasteland <laughs> of a planet. Frozen remains. <laughs> Bye!